fellow diamond painting addicts, and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. Today I have an update for you on my Josephine Wall Diana canvas. As you can see here, I have not completed it, um, and I'll put a card up here to the kit up so that you can see what it looks like. This is a 100 by 80 centimeter picture. It is round diamonds with 250 colors and it is now officially the longest time that I have spent working on one particular diamond painting project. Um, I do need to put her away so that I can work on other projects, unfortunately. And you can see I have about 18 sections left and I have about 120 hours worked in her so far. So definitely one of my longest diamond painting projects ever to date. If you'll remember, I started out down here with her signature and started working my way to the left, working on some of the confetti. Got to about there and then I started my 24 hour diamond painting challenge. I'll put a link to it up there. Um, and began working my way left. And during that diamond painting challenge, I got a lot of this filigree around her neck completed. And then I moved over into the peacock feathers. And I don't know how well it translates on camera, but you can see these extra sparklers that I have added. I purchased extra AB drills from DP with sparklers to just kind of sprinkle in here and there. And I'm really loving the way that it has turned out. It has made such a difference in the canvas. And I think it just looks amazing. So I'm going to start doing a slow pan up here so that you can kind of see as I go up. You can see above the peacock feathers, there are even more feathers. And then there is this giant moth that is hanging off of kind of her headpiece and her hair on the back moving up to even more feathers and then you get these um, this piece of filigree jewelry that's kind of hanging off of this ornate headpiece that she's wearing um, and you can see kind of the little beads and things there that lead down into the moth and then if you move over to the right you can see that I have completed the bottom part of her chin and neck. You can see over to the left here, this kind of cloud background that I have completed that leads into the dark under her chin and neck with the extra ABs that you can see I've added in. I did actually purchase an extra AB that ended up being the same color as the skin on her face. However, I've chosen to put it in other places like over here in this filigree because I thought it would look too odd for her to have um, too many ABs in her skin. I do wish that I had gotten some yellow ABs to put in this filigree section. Um, I think they would have just added that extra something, but something to remember for next time. Um, so that's where I've gotten. You can see her release papers that leads into her face and the moon, which I'm assuming is going to be some more multi-placing. So what I chose to do was work up the left side of the canvas first. So I worked up the entire left side of the canvas so it is complete from top to bottom. You can see I've got this wing and more feathers as well as these little loops coming off of the feathers. You can see additional pieces of filigree from her very ornate headpiece as well as this circle that has this little trio of wolves in it um, that's just very, very ornate. And moving up above that, you can see more feathers and kind of pieces of her hair coming off, as well as a section with these antelope and deer over here that are running. And then if you move up above those, you can see this very, very ornate detailed eagle with some um, mountains behind it and um, up in the night sky and then next to that you can see this big stag or elk with the big antlers and a woman on his back with her hair kind of flowing off in the wind. 
this picture is just so detailed, but because it is so detailed and there are so many colors, it is easy to kind of get lost when you're working on it. So when you zoom in and get up close, whoa, sorry guys, when you zoom in and you get up close, um, it's hard to kind of tell what you're working on. You can, you can see here some of the ABs that I've thrown in, but you're so busy placing the diamonds where they need to go that it's kind of like that missing the forest for the trees. And it's not until you kind of zoom out and step away that you can see how amazingly detailed that these paintings can be because of the confetti and the amount of colors. And you can see all the extra ABs that I've thrown up there in the night sky. And over here in the section where I still have things left to do. You can see just the little edge here of the crescent moon that is on the top of her head. That is part of her tiara. Um, and behind those release papers are the moon and the rest of her face. So you can see that I have the um, left side of the canvas done. I need to complete the section on the right. I've got um, a about half of the right side of it done up to her chin. So as I said, I have her face and the moon still to do, um, but just absolutely loving the way that everything is turning out. And again, I don't know how well this translates on camera, but all of these extra ABs when I'm looking at it are just adding such sparkle and shine that I am just absolutely loving the way that they turned out and how it looks to have added these in. So I can't wait to get some square ABs and try those out um, on a square canvas because they look so good on this one, but um, I'm just absolutely loving this. This picture is unfortunately getting put away because I have another project that I need to work on. However, um, if you haven't tried diamond painting Deutschland, I can't recommend them highly enough. This painting is absolutely gorgeous. It is double-sided adhesive, but I'm not having any issues. It came in great packaging. If you're in the US, yes, the shipping can be expensive, but this has been my favorite canvas to date. It is definitely very confetti heavy and a challenge, but that was the reason I purchased it, and I am absolutely loving how she is turning out so far. So yeah, that's where I'm at with Diana. So she is getting put away, like I said, so it may be a little while before I have another update and a chance to work on her, and I'll put a picture over here to the side so uh, you can see what the completed painting looks like. But yeah. This is hands down my favorite canvas to date that I have worked on. And like I said, I just can't recommend them Diamond Painting Deutschland highly enough and Josephine Wall. If you have been hesitant to try it, um, try it. You will love it. If you like confetti. If you don't like confetti, then you probably shouldn't try it. But if you do, then I would definitely recommend it. And yeah. That's my Diana update. So there you have it guys, my progress update on Diana. If you like this video, don't forget to do all the things on your way out. Give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, thanks for watching.